Hi, I'm Easter, and these are my roasted bananas with tahini caramel. No, that's not right. Start again. Hi, I'm Easter, and I'm going to be making roasted bananas with a tahini chocolate sauce and a rum caramel. First, we're going to roast bananas. Now, make sure you get really nice and ripe bananas. This isn't going to work with green or yellow hard bananas. Then we're just going to cut a slit along the top on each one. And then once you've cut those slits, just sort of squeeze them open a little bit like that. Just push them in on either, either side. Drizzle a little bit of maple syrup inside. Not too much. You've got, you're going to have a lot of other stuff going on top, but this is just going to help the insides brown and caramelize a little bit. Another thing that's very important is a little bit of salt because salt in dessert makes all the difference and you kind of want that throughout. So a little bit of salt inside. So just gonna pop these in a oven proof tray, make sure it's oven proof. And then gonna stick it in the rock box. So just keep an eye on them and turn them at regular intervals. What you're looking for is black skin and really soft caramelized banana inside. So while the bananas are in the oven, we're gonna make a rum caramel. So miso, cream, maple syrup, and some vanilla bean paste. This is a really simple caramel. Everything goes in at the same time. Miso, cream, maple syrup, and vanilla. Just whisk that together until the miso sort of incorporates into the liquid. And then watch it closely and just whisk it and kind of let it bubble away. So now you can see it's starting to bubble quite vigorously. Just Keep on going for another few seconds, or actually 10, 20 seconds. You want quite a kind of a thickish caramel because I'm then gonna add some rum and then like loosen it up a bit. Kind of like a butterscotchy consistency. And I'm gonna leave it to cool um, for a few minutes and then I'm gonna add a splash of rum. Now we're gonna make some whipped yogurt cream. So I've got double cream going in, yogurt. More vanilla bean paste, because it's one of my favorite ingredients. Don't forget, a pinch of salt. Whip that up until you get sort of nice, sort of medium stiff peaks. So that's about the consistency we want. And now I'm gonna stick it in the fridge just to chill, because I really like the combination of like hot bananas and cold cream. So, Sorry. <laughs> so last thing to make is a tahini chocolate sauce. So I've got some funky ingredients here. Well, not that funky, but I don't know why I said that. I just ignore that. Tahini chocolate sauce now, which has a bit of soy sauce in it, uh, just to make it nice and savory and chocolatey and sweet. So everything in the bowl at the same time. Cocoa powder, tahini, more vanilla bean paste. Should have shares in the stuff. Maple syrup should probably also have shares in that. A bit of soy sauce. Whisk it up until it's gonna start to thicken pretty soon. And once it's like really smooth and shiny and thick, you're done. Excuse the fingers. No, I think it's pretty much there. It's on the savory side, but I kind of like that because the bananas are gonna be really sweet, the caramel is gonna be sweet. So the bananas are done. As you can see, they're really nice and caramelized and charred. The skin is completely black. The bananas are super soft um, and they've kind of made this incredible maple banana caramel that's like splaying everywhere. We definitely don't wanna get rid of that. That's part of the magic. And we're just gonna leave it to cool for about five minutes because if you put everything on now, everything's just gonna melt. The cream's gonna go all over the shop and also you're gonna burn your mouth. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some rum to the caramel, which is obviously completely optional and you can use another booze or no booze at all, but I'm gonna use a fair amount and then just stir it in. So this is the best part. It's time to start plating and loading these beautiful bananas with all of our sauces. And like I said before, don't throw away that incredible banana-y maple caramel that's on the bottom of the tray. You can actually just stir that into your caramel. Big dollop of cream on each one. And don't be precious about this because it's gonna go everywhere. They're gonna start melting and the sauces are gonna start going all over the place and that is not a problem. Then it's up to you what you go next, either chocolate fudge sauce or caramel. I'm just gonna kind of go all over with the fudge sauce and then some of that caramel, some roasted and salted almonds. You could use peanuts too or no nuts, but I think that crunch is really nice. And then of course, no dessert, in my opinion, is finished without a sprinkling of flake salt. Very important. 
And there you go. That's my roasted bananas with yogurt cream, tahini chocolate sauce, and rum caramel. Felix, a spoon for you. Thank you. Enjoy. Oh, you can go first. Let's tuck in. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, God. It. Make sure you get a bit of everything. Mmm. Mm, mm. <laughs> I like that. It's up there. Yesterday I had a chocolate eclair from my next door neighbour they made and it was absolutely amazing. But this is probably topping that. For the recipe, go to gosney.com. Whatever, what do you say? Cut or roll, whatever. I'm going to say that again. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay.